Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's uh, It's been a slow time for Call of Duty here the past couple of weeks. Obviously, we're all kind of just sitting here waiting for the season two update to drop next week. It's uh, time's going by slow to say the least, right? However, we have had a few bits and pieces of new Intel surface over the past couple of days. And most importantly today, Activision released their brand new quarterly earnings report. Now, unfortunately, because of all the ongoing stuff with the Microsoft transaction with Activision Blizzard, they're not doing full on investors calls currently. They're basically just releasing a press release, if you will. But in this, we get more very interesting details about the future of Modern Warfare 2, specifically what's to come this fall when we are supposed to have like the year two update. It's been said time and time again that Modern Warfare 2 is going to be a two year title and the next new Call of Duty game, the next Treyarch game, presumably another installment in the Black Ops series is coming in fall of 2024. So we do have some new details there, which is just furthering the confusion a bit, but also bringing forth some very interesting info at the same time. We'll get to that though. First up, I wanna start with a couple of these smaller things that we've seen surface over the past couple of days. Obviously, Warzone hasn't seen too many updates over the past week or so. Keep in mind though, this Wednesday, we know we're getting the full on reveal for the roadmap and all the major content in season two, but every single Wednesday seems to be like the weekly update day for MW2 and Warzone 2. So hopefully come Wednesday, we should see a new playlist update go live at the minimum, maybe with a couple of gameplay changes. We'll have to keep our eyes out for anything there. Of course, if there's new playlists, if there's new changes, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. So stick it here for that. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those noties. But the last sort of update that we've got for Warzone 2 is actually a new issue that Raven's talking about that I have seen you guys talk about a ton, whether it's in the comments or over on my Twitter. By the way, if you don't follow me over there, feel free to do so on the road to 20K uh, over there. But uh, Raven did post a new update on Twitter and on the Trello board saying that they are actively investigating an issue with voice chat where sometimes players are just completely unable to use voice chat entirely. Uh, it might be met with like a glitch notification that says you've been voice comm banned or you're not able to participate in voice communication. It's a weird thing. I'm not really sure how it, you know, arose because we didn't have any updates that changed anything here. So just a random glitch that popped up. And uh, I've seen plenty of reports of players saying that they can't use the in-game voice chat. It says they're banned from it. They didn't do anything. They don't, uh, you know, rarely talk or whatever the case may be. So just a heads up, you might want to uh, keep an eye out there in case this is affecting you, obviously would limit your in-game comms or on the contrary, it's it's sort of buffing your enemies. So many enemies give off their position in Warzone because of uh, prox chat. Like so many times I'm running past like a small bundle of houses and then I hear someone's fire alarm beeping in the background or their TV or their music blasting through their connect mic. And I'm like, oh, somebody's chilling in here free kill right but now if that doesn't happen i'm missing out on key information they're not telling themselves anymore so there is a slight issue going on with that they are fully aware of and hopefully we'll have a fix for that soon i would imagine season two at the latest we also got a bit of a uh, content update if you will for multiplayer or rather an update on some of the content for multiplayer uh, if you stay up to date with the leaks and the rumors videos here on the channel we're always talking about the latest intel there and one of the big things for modern warfare 2 multiplayer is that supposedly one of the new maps coming in season two was going to be a remake of castle uh, obviously with the reveal of ashika island now you know for a fact castle is like the main point of interest there it's the castle stronghold and it's basically the same thing from like world at war and vanguard with some added areas around it since it is obviously of course part of a larger map and that's going to be available for resurgence and dmz and that's officially confirmed now when we got the very first leak for ashika island a few months back or a little while back uh it did mention that uh, it was going to be a map for Resurgence and DMZ, but also Ground War as well. And there was a lot of confusion when the first Season 2 key art images leaked because Castle was in the background and the Modern Warfare 2 logo was there. So a lot of players were just assuming there was going to be a Castle remake again here in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, which didn't really have many players excited. One, because it was a remake map. Two, because it's Castle. We just had it last year in Vanguard. And frankly, it's a huge map. Too big for 6v6 in this game. But there were rumors for Ground War, and I was like, okay, that could be interesting. Still a remake map, though, but maybe better than 6v6. Well, Charlie Intel is actually reporting that once, uh, you know, Ashika Island was revealed, the castle is not a multiplayer map at all for Modern Warfare 2. It is just a new point of interest on the new Ashika Island Resurgence map. 
for Warzone 2.0. So now it would seem that maybe that idea was scrapped. Perhaps those leaks got out. And of course, Call of Duty saw them because they were actively striking and DMCA takedowning the, uh, you know, people that were posting the images of the leaked map and whatnot. So they were well aware of it. Maybe they saw the feedback that everyone was moaning oh why why are we getting castle again man like nobody wants this really so maybe they saw that and are like okay we'll scrap that uh we do still have the leak slash the rumor from charlie intel saying that museum might be coming back as one of the season two maps i still think that's kind of weird that they're using an old mw2 map as a new seasonal map but it's whatever but it does appear to be uh that we're not going to have castle as a multiplayer map this season so we'll have official details on that here come wednesday when we get the roadmap that'll reveal what exactly is coming in terms of map-based content. If we're getting a couple 6v6, if we're getting some remakes or some remasters, or maybe we're getting a new ground war map. Of course, once that drops, I'll be sure to cover that ASAP. So be sure to have those noties on so you know right when that video goes live. Now, moving on, as mentioned at the start today, we got that new Q4 press release from Activision. And this covers everything between Activision and Blizzard. So there's Candy Crush, there's uh, the King titles and all sorts of stuff. And admittedly, there's less details in these press releases than there is when it comes to the uh, actual investors calls where there's a Q&A portion and there's a lot more discussion here. But they do give us some very interesting lines in this press release. So they do say that uh, Modern Warfare 2 basically shattered all their records for launch sales and everything. It was a huge launch and it was super successful. And Warzone 2 and DMZ added to that even more. It contributed to a strong year-over-year -year increase in franchise reach and engagement on console and PC in the fourth quarter, as well as a record quarterly player investment. So we saw record numbers with launches. Year-over-year -year engagement growth in the free title has moderated following launch, although next week sees the launch of Season 2, which will include new content modes and gameplay updates aimed at delighting the community and accelerating growth. So of course, most of the updates we're seeing here in season two in just a couple of days are based on community feedback, which is why they say that. Uh, then they also end this by saying across the Call of Duty franchise, our teams are working to amplify the success of the fourth quarter in 2023 with plans including even more engaging live services across platforms. And this is the super important part, the next full annual premium release in the Blockbuster series. We've heard, you know, little bits and pieces, rumors and leaks that in fall of 2023, instead of getting a full on new title, we're going to see that supposed expansion pack, if you will, for Modern Warfare 2. And Bloomberg has also reported that it was going to be led by Sledgehammer. Uh, and it was basically going to be like all the OG MW2 2009 maps, maybe some classic maps from COD 4 and MW3 and other like nostalgia based stuff. It'd basically be a huge DLC pack that it would be pay to play for Modern Warfare 2 just to expand the content even more and that would be the main year two content update to then kind of last us until 2024 when Treyarch's next title drops admittedly I don't think that's going to last a year and I think retention there would fall off pretty quickly if that had to last a full year but now this press release is saying it's going to be a full annual premium release which just raises more questions we know it's not going to be a Treyarch title but could we be getting more now rather than just a couple of maps from the old mw2 or modern warfare franchise games and you know maybe some other like throwback skins or something could we be seeing a whole new assortment of guns a bunch of new maps new operators new camo challenges all sorts of stuff basically giving us a fresh start in multiplayer if you will but content that is on theme for modern warfare 2 personally that seems like it would draw a lot more interest obviously it would play a lot of nostalgia i could see that being a bit more successful so this is definitely very interesting wording previously they just said that there's going to be a premium release meaning pay to play now they're saying a full annual premium release so pay to play but also it's a full release so expect like enough content to consider it a full new game we're gonna have to keep our eyes on this as the situation continues to evolve over the next couple of months again as any new intel comes to light as there's any new leaks and rumors i'll be sure to cover them so stay tuned for that stuff make sure you guys are subscribed with those noties turned on and of course if you guys enjoyed this video let me know by dropping a like on it as well but that's gonna wrap things up once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day i'll catch you guys later peace out